treatment of, uh, of tremor by deep brain stimulation makes some sense if one thinks about the role of the subthalamic nucleus in the hyperdirect pathway. So you, you hammer on the subthalamic nucleus and, uh, and that increases the, the, the inhibition uh, coming out of here and so you're basically stopping this ongoing tremor. For reasons that are much, much less clear, uh, it's uh, stimulation in the subthalamic nucleus also uh, is effective in treating Parkinson's. The, the core uh, components of Parkinson's, not just tremor, but also the, the akinesia and the bradykinesia. It gives people more on uh, states and less time in the off state. It decreases their need for uh, drugs uh, or decrease, decreases the dose of drugs that they need. Um, and how, how, that, how that makes sense is, is a really interesting puzzle. Um, in the old days, uh, lesions here in the same places where now there are stimulation has the same effect. So lesions and, and stimulation can have similar effects. I, I, we, we don't have a simple explanation for why that occurs. Um, and, uh, and, and then my point here is not to make up an explanation because I don't know it. Uh, but my point is to, is to make some, an, an, a different point, which is uh, that when, in, in the case of DBS stimulation, either in subthalamus, but primarily in subthalamus or in ventral pallidum, uh, what often happens is that there is a release of these repetitive uh, habit, habitual type movements. So. For example, a person may become, they, they, they're on, the, the, the deep brain stimulator is turned on, they become a, a compulsive gambler. They've never been a compulsive gambler before, but now they gamble and gamble and gamble. It doesn't matter that it's, it's negatively impacting their life, their finances, their employment, their family, it, that, none of that matters. They are very compulsive about this, or they could be compulsively shopping or compulsively, uh, or they could sexualize uh, relationships that are, are, they would not have sexualized or they had never sexualized before. So there is a release of these uh, outcome independent actions, habits, um, and, they, uh, and there's a release of, of punding like uh, actions reorganizing the, the, the cutlery drawer over and over again, reorganizing the cabinets, stacking, um, stacking things and unstacking them, picking out hair, picking at skin. All of these types of movements or, or actions um, can be uh, released by deep brain stimulation. And, and it's common enough that uh, that I think it's worthwhile, or it is worthwhile, to, to warn patients that this is the case, so that them and their, their, uh, the, those around them, the people that love them, can be aware that this is a potential side effect and to, to get help earlier rather than later, not let this progress um, uh, too much. Uh, and, I, and I noticed that um, I can't remember what the example of punding was that Joel Haverman uh, had, but you can also get this simply with um, dopamine, with, with L-DOPA. So it does appear that, that this is related not so much, not perhaps not directly to the glutamatergic neurons, but to the dopamine uh, environment in, these, in, the, in the stimulated areas. Okay. So... That's it for the skeletal motor loop, and now we're going to move on to the other basal ganglia loops.